Hello everyone, this is going to be my next part of my Let's Make a Clash Royale like game in Unity. So in our last one, we got it all working out with our new game manager script. So we got our guys going down and they're going to start attacking. And, you know, after they are done attacking there, it's going to find the next one, which is going to be this one and attack that as well. Uh, so in this one, we're going to be working on most of the UI and we're going to be working on stuff that's just going to simulate what the Clash Royale looks like. So we're going to have this little area down here where these cards are. We're going to have this little next here. Have that bar to show how much mana or resource that we have. Um, we can put these in as well to say how many crowns we got. And if you want to put this uh, crown right here saying what level it is. Uh, the enemy name up there. Uh, Whatever you really want to do, uh, all we're going to do is we're going to do, get this part done, we're going to get this part done, and we'll probably get this in there as well. Uh, none of the actual graphics like the crowns or anything, just a box that has that number in it. Um, so the first thing what we're actually going to do is, uh, in that open game art, there's going to be a one that has like a blank card. So in images, we're just going to drag this in here. And and if I'm, I'm going to put it in the um, spot down below, just so you have that reference. We have this blank card right here. So we'll do the same thing. It's going to be a sprite. Make this into a point no filter. Um, single. I believe that's all we need to do with it. Okay, so now we have this card. Okay, so now we're going to be able to put that down here and all that kind of stuff. But first, when we open up the game, you see that it is actually a little bit too big. Okay, this is our window right here. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to, need to take the 2D world and the 3D world, and we're going to make them just a little bit smaller. Uh, we're just going to take it and maybe um, go into here, say, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 maybe. That's a little too low. So let's just say, how about 80%? Um, I mean, that's going to look okay. Uh, maybe we can get away with same 0.85. Uh, looks a little bit better. Uh, our biggest issue is that we have our guys in the wrong spot. Um, I'm actually just going to make an empty object in here. Call this um, uh, structures. Put our structures in it and make another one called units. Oops, there we go. Units and put our two units in it. There we go. So we got our units and we got our structures. So I'm just going to center this out and center this one out. Okay. So now in our structures, let's go back into our scene view. Grab our move tool, bring that down here. Other one, let's move that down here. And our keep. We'll bring this down here as well. Um, I'm not going to want any Y values on any of these. Um, these are going to want the same Z value. So we'll just say negative 7.2. And our units, uh, let's see, they're way up here. So let's bring him down here, bring him over here. And at the same time, we're not gonna need that Y value. So let's get rid of that Y value. And there we go. Um, so now we can just grab a hold of that and we move all that around. 
but we're gonna keep all that docked into the at the zero zero spot. Um, so now when we look at it, we have this little playing room. Um, so we can take these two and just move it over a little bit and center it. Um, go like that and maybe bring it down a little bit as well. So something like that. Um, it's probably not gonna be enough room down there. So let's go back down to like 75. Oops, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Okay, so that's maybe a little bit better. Uh, we will have to change up our structures a little bit more. Um, bring this over a little bit more like that. So that's a little bit better. Let's fix up the structures. Make sure there's no Y value right there. And these two have the same C value. Okay, so that's that. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is in our game manager again, I'm gonna right click and we're just gonna add a panel. Okay, that's actually gonna add it to our, one of our canvases. So we're not gonna wanna do it that way. We go back into Game Manager, right-click UI, we'll bring in the canvas, and now we're gonna say right-click UI panel. Click on the 2D so we can actually look at the 2D area of it. Bring this down like this, check out the game. Let's say, let's dock it to the bottom middle uh, by holding Shift and Alt. Okay, um, we set the height as like 200, 250, that's about right. Uh, we can make it like 600, um, say like 700, something like that. And actually, if I remember great, it's actually docked to the side, side like that. Okay, so this is gonna be our background and we're going to bring up the opacity on it maybe make it a little bit darker um so the rest of it's going to come right here um we know that it's going to have we're going to need a game object in here uh, top try that out there there Right about there. And that right there is going to hold our, um, I should put it to the right. That's going to hold all of our, our, yeah, our cards. Uh, we're going to need a, another game object in here. This is going to hold our resource. Uh, we'll do bottom left. I'll bring it down here. And we can bring this. Um, about right there again. Bring this one over a little more, maybe make them about the same size. And then the final thing is the next card. And that one's going to get docked on the left hand side, right about here. Just get a little bit bigger. So, something like that. So, these are our three base areas that we're going to be able to put stuff in. Uh, let's take care of this next card first. Um, I'm actually just going to bring this out more. So it's like that. Uh, let's just make a new 18 now. Okay, so in here there was a text. So we'll take the text. Uh, let's say deck it in the middle. Um, Actually, let's say stretch to the bottom. So that one. Uh, we're going to line to the middle. We're going to center it. We'll say next uh, car Oops, card. Something like that. 
Uh, maybe bring it up like 16. Darken the text up like that. Okay, so that's our next area right there. Um, and we could put a card in there. Uh, not like that. UI image. Anchor it to the top. And then on the image sprite, we'll put that in there. Preserve aspect. Um, then bring it down just like that. So there we go. So that's our, our next one right there. And we can have like various stats on these areas. Uh, we probably won't do much with it. We'll probably just have these as like temp things. And we'll call this um, icon. Okay. So in here, we're going to need that bar right here. Right. Um, so we're going to make another game empty. And we're going to make that whole thing stretched. Drag it down a little more. Drag that one up a little bit more. We're just going like that. So we can set values in here, like let's say 16, 16, maybe 16 and 16. Like 16 is all cross like work. Yeah, that's going to look fine. Um, and on here, what we're going to say is we're going to say a, uh, a horizontal layout group. So now all we have to do is drag stuff in there, and it's going to get it and give us the right spot. Um, so let's drag in just a regular old sprite. that and let's make it a controlled size just like that uh, so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's all ten of them right there let's give it a spacing of let's say 15 we'll put a padding of let's say 15 15 15 and 15 uh, and maybe we'll just do five here, so it's a little bit closer together. So there we go, just like that. Um, and we're actually going to dock this to the top. Then we're going to put some stuff down here. Um, let me take a look at that one more time. Clash Royale. Um, yeah, because it does have some numbers on it. We want a max number and our current number on it. Um, so let's make another text in here. We'll put the text right about here. And let's just say 26 on that. Just like that. And we'll say um, 99, just to give it a good estimate of everything. So there's that one. And then one more text. And we'll bring this one down at the bottom. And we'll say max. Um, something around like that. Um, so that number is going to change. That number will change. Um, but around like that. Okay, that looks fine. Um, so that is that area. Now for this last one, uh, let's actually name these. Um, we'll say that this one is the current resource. And this will be the max resource. Okay. And these would be resource icons. Okay, so for the last one, this card, we'll make another one like this. We'll stretch it out. Um, we'll say maybe 25, 25. 25 and 25. 
This would be the cards, um, card icons. We'll add another horizontal. We will add in a image again. Um, sometimes it sticks over there. You just click on it and drag it, and it kind of comes back. Um, so there's that. We hit the preserve aspect again. Um, maybe give it a. No, that's a little too small. Maybe like five. Yeah, that's about right. Um, the border on the actual thing will actually help out on most of it. Um, it's going to be that top part that just needs to come down just a little bit more. And then uh, there's about four, there's two, there's three, and there's finally the fourth one. So those are our four cards that we can be able to use. Uh, we'll be able to drag these out onto the field, and that's how we're going to be able to spawn those cards. So that's that. We got our next card over here. We got our resources down here. Uh, we look at the game view looks pretty okay maybe the numbers or maybe the text can come up a little more type in text over here um actually it's dark enough everything let's say uh what was one of these 16 26 let's do like an even like 30. so you notice that some of them went away We're just going to come down here. This one's okay. The current is okay. Uh, we just need to increase it just a little bit more. There we go. And this one is probably need to do the same thing. I'll drag that up a little bit more. Text. Drag that up again. Uh, now, since this is a little bit too small, it's not going to be able to go on 30. Let's try like 20. Six. There we go. There's the next card. So it looks a little bit better. Go back in here. You can see this a little bit well. We can make sure it lines up properly. Um, the other thing that I want to make sure that happens is in these resource areas. Uh, what happens if one goes away? So let's say this image one right here. If we were to hide it, you see how it uh, expands out. Well, we don't want that to actually expand out. Um, so let's actually get rid of uh, the controlled si uh, control child size. And now if we hit it, still does it. Um, there's probably these ones down here. Um, let me bring those back out again. What is it? 42 and 31. We're just going to say 31 and 31. We'll get rid of these and then all these. Um, I just got to get rid of this one. But all of these ones, we're going to say that 31, 31. So there we go. Now, if let's say this one goes away, it just takes off that last one over there. Um, that one goes away. It still takes off that last one. It's just going to condense it all the way down. Um, and we're going to do the same thing with the cards. So cards are at 100 by 100, which is fine. Uh, if this one goes away. Got that space in there. We could put that space in there. Or we can just get rid of these things right there. Uh, we're still at 100 by 100. Uh, and then if we get rid of this one, just gets rid of that one right there. And that's all we wanted to do. Um, so that's that part. Um, and then we had one more thing, and that was right over here. And we're going to create another empty game object called a score. We'll put in a text. Uh, we're actually going to make this um, anchor to the left. Drag this out like that. Anchor to the left again. So in here, 
we'll say, uh, let's just stretch it out. And stuff like that. Bring this one, let's say, topped and stretch. Bring it down some, let's say negative 50. Okay, darken this one up, um, do the same thing, so it's centered, and this will say zero. Uh, we'll actually make it a different color. Let's make this one red for the enemy. We'll call this enemy score. We will duplicate that one, call this player score. We'll make this one, let's say, a blue. Uh, and we're going to make this one at the bottom and stretched. And then just plus 50 right here. Uh, let's make these 75. And then we look at the game. A little too small there. So let's bring this up to, let's say, 30. Uh, maybe like 45. There we go. Um, now I think these were a little bit higher up. So maybe if we put it like right about there. Uh, I think it was straddling this line right here. Maybe come down just a little bit more. Right about like right there. So you got the score over here. We got this part down here. Um, the health bars are in place. We don't have the actual text of the health bars. Uh, we could add that in, uh, but that's probably some of our optimization and refactoring that we'll probably do later. Um, so that's going to be it for this video uh, and this part of this uh, tutorial series. And our next part, we're actually going to get these cards working. Um, so we'll be able to play, take the card, drag it in, uh, drop it out, and a unit will spawn in there. Um, the unit will spawn in, get added to our game manager. Uh, so in preparation for that, we're actually just going to get rid of our base units. Uh, we still have our structure. Uh, we can create a empty game object right here. We'll call this enemy. Tag that with enemy. Uh, we'll duplicate that one. We'll call this player. Tag that one with player. We'll drag our structures into our structures into enemy, and our units into player. So just like that. Um, so once when that's all done, we'll be able to start being able to play the game and attacking these things. Uh, once when that's done, we'll get into using. Playfab and Photon, which is how we're going to handle our account and the multiplayer side of it. And eventually we'll be able to get this online and um, people will be able to play from phone to phone. Hope to see you next time. Uh, leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below. See you next time. Bye.